So today I thought, you know what? I'm going to show you very quickly a recipe for a healthy pumpkin spice smoothie. Whew, that was a mouthful. It took me like four tries to get that, by the way. Hello, 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 welcome. If you're new here, I'm Kepa. Thank you for stopping by. I give really cool tips and hacks to lose weight and keep it off while enjoying really delicious food. So if you like that kind of stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell because if you don't, you're lost. You miss out. And this is for this is for people who are maybe on a weight loss journey or they're just looking for a healthy alternative while they enjoy the flavors of the fall season. So if you like this kind of stuff, then definitely stick around. So I'm gonna go through the ingredients real quick and then we'll get to blending. I'm not gonna waste your time because I know when you're done with this, you want to try it out. Tr trust me. <laughs> okay, so first thing you need is pure whey protein powder. I have here the vanilla flavor from bulk powders. I put links in the description below to all of the things I'm going to talk about today and all of the products I'm going to use. So don't worry, don't, don't it's okay, it's okay, calm down. I'm using this protein powder as a base because not only do I like, love the texture of this, but more importantly, using protein powder is actually a great way, one of the healthy ways to supplement your protein macros so you can actually hit your numbers and build muscle, lose weight, whatever you're trying to do, maintain. So for example, in one scoop, I get 23 grams of protein, 2.3 grams of carbs, and about two and a half grams of fats. So think of like when you're having beans, for example, and you're trying to, oh, I'm eating beans because it's high in protein. Well, it's also high in carbs. So this is a great, a, a great thing in my jiggy. I always have this. Well, almost always. The next thing, of course, is pumpkin puree. And be sure that you're getting one that is fat-free, people. You don't want the one that is like pumpkin pie puree. Um, it's just 100% pure pumpkin, okay? Nobody's adding any extra stuff here. Each ingredient should say pumpkin, the end. And in case you're wondering what this is all about, I was ready to shoot this and I realized, oh, I don't have a can opener. So I improvised, you know, and I had to just stop here so that I don't hurt myself. So anyway, I've measured it out and I'll go over the amount that you need for every item. Then you need your unsweetened almond milk. Of course, it doesn't need to be almond milk. It could be, it could be cashew milk, pea milk, hemp milk, flaxseed milk. I mean, like there's so much out there now. You pick your, pick your favorite. And then <laughs> right here, guys, this is a secret ingredient. Do not skimp on this one. Let me tell you why. You see, if you don't add this to your mix, ain't nothing gonna happen. You are not going to have that fall flavor. Pumpkin puree can be quite bland. It's almost like it needs this as the catalyst and then it just explodes in your mouth. So ground mixed spice, if you're in England, I just learned this today. If you go around the store and you ask for pumpkin pie spice, you are not getting anywhere. You can get this online. Just type pumpkin pie spice and links in the description below as well. Or you can just go to the store and grab yours. And if you don't have this, you can make yours. So you, you just need ground ginger, ground cinnamon, ground cloves and ground nutmeg. So, but it's not in equal parts. <laughs> so you don't go and have a cinnamony pumpkin pie spice smoothie. In the description below as well, I put the, the quantity that you need. Okay, cool. And then vanilla extract, of course, because vanilla extract just makes everything better. You know what I'm saying? I'm also going to add flax seeds. This is totally optional, but I'm adding it in there because it's a good source of fiber. It has, it's rich in antioxidants, anti See, It's just healthy, healthy, you know, that's feel good. Like, oh, look at me, I'm being healthy. And it is also going to really, really improve the texture, like make it even thicker and just yummier. And of course, that saying, you need a blender. So, since I am here by myself, I am just using a personal blender, you know, personally. So I probably should have just shot the entire video <laughs> here. I'm gonna show you the, give you the measurements, but 
Honestly, me, I'm just gonna eyeball most of this. What you need is, and this is why I have the skill, 10 ounces of unsweetened nut milk. And truth be told, if I were just doing my own thing, I would probably just eyeball it. <laughs> Cause whatever, you know? And then, one scoop ah even the smell even the smell ah it reminds me of um baby food cerelac when i was one time when i was helping to babysit i was eight years old <laughs> i was babysitting my nephew or cousin my african cousin we're not actually related but you know everybody's your cousin or your auntie or no and I used to steal out of his baby food. Yeah, yeah, honey. And you need a quarter cup. <laughs> hey, don't judge me. Don't you have weird things that you do? And you need a quarter cup pumpkin puree. You need about a teaspoon of the mixed spice or pumpkin pie spice. <sighs> I like smelling my food. Mm, that should be enough. I don't. This I, this is not a teaspoon, but whatever. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Again, I'm not really measuring, but just eyeballing because life is not that complicated, eh? Flax seeds, about one tablespoon is fine. And so, full disclosure, I am able to eyeball some of these things because I've measured out so many things in my life that I, I kind of, I can gauge what one tablespoon of flax seeds looks like. So, all right. Cover this up. You guys, it's so easy. Oh yes. And if you if you like cold stuff, I don't honestly I don't understand you. I'll never understand you, but that's okay. If you like cold stuff, you can add ice in this. Oh yes, and how can I forget to tell you that I do have a free seven-day weight loss plan. It consists of a meal plan and a workout plan. If you're looking to jumpstart your weight loss and you don't really know where to start, there's a lot of information and it's like, ah, I got you. It's a step-by-step -step complete guide and the link is in, is in the description below for you. So just click and you're on your way. Click this and, oh. <laughs> I always do this. I'm the kind of person that will be waiting. Ah, when is this water going to boil? And then I realize, eh, I did not put on the kettle. Hmm. Okay. I'll just pretend. Just so that you didn't feel like you wasted your time watching this. No, I'm kidding. It's going to be good. You know, my mouth is watering. One way to really enjoy your food is to eat mindfully or drink mindfully in this case. Take your time. Take it in with your eyes. Smell it, savor it, and then drink it. So let's see. Oh! Praise the Lord. Oh, single, single. Praise the Lord. Mmm. This is so good. Let me just show you how creamy it is. I hope you can see. If you can't, then let's just fire me as a video producer and director of this video. Oh my gosh, you guys. Mmm. Super easy. Super healthy. There's like barely any sugar in this thing, right? There's no sugar here, no sugar, no sugar. And I'm enjoying my life like this. Hey, oh God you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and download your free weight loss plan if you're looking to jumpstart your weight loss. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.